I know what you're all thinking. And no, I don't have an answer to what happens when you've hit 1001 attempts at 1001 attempts. Even with the amount of restarts, our time spent with the game was nowhere near that amount. It probably is an answer for the most dedicated players, or more likely, perhaps it's just a catchy name for a how long can you last style arcade game. You control a little purple thing, and your goal is to avoid death while trapped in this bleak grey box. You can move left and right, and by tapping the up button, you can switch gravity. What makes this simple premise such a delight to play is how tight and responsive the controls are, and you'll be flipping and dodging like a pro in no time. The buttons do disappear, and this can cause issues as you forget exactly where to tap on the screen, but the more you play, the more you rely on muscle memory, and this might cease to be an issue. The visuals are very pixelated and sparse, which does suit the gameplay. The biggest omission of any sort is backgrounds. Now, the argument could be made that backgrounds might be distracting, or they might obscure the missiles and comets, but the option to pick a background or unlock choices are possibilities that seem to be overlooked. I guess one tick in favour of the grey is cataloguing the splotches of all your failed attempts. The music is what you'd expect of such a title, delivering a driving force to succeed while not becoming obnoxious. And, aside from the combination of obstacles over time, that's all there is here. Those looking for a long-lasting content are not going to find it, but if you're after a snack-sized arcade test of skill that's fine-tuned to put you in control, 1001 Attempts certainly qualifies and is quite entertaining in its execution. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.